New gameplay footage of Pokemon Legends Arceus just came out in Japan and nobody's talking about it. This is crazy. Let's break it down. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I bring you guys a brand new video today and today we are diving into Pokemon Legends Arceus as a new trailer has just dropped in Japan and again, nobody is talking about it. I don't know what's going on. I dug around. I found a high res version of the trailer. I saw a bunch of screenshots being shared around over the last hour or so while I was recording. And this is some crazy stuff. You guys are in for a wild ride here. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Last but not least, deck out your closet for the new year and pick up the new Team Shiny shirts repping the new starters for the Hisui region and Pokemon Legends Arceus, which comes out this month. We can officially say that. That's really cool. So let's dive into this footage and much, much more. You don't want to miss it. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I'm reading is that the quality is way better, but I haven't seen this yet. So let's take a look right now. Okay, look at this Eevee. Let me make this a, bit, a little bit bigger. Uh, that's really cool. Eevee running through. This is, by the way, confirmed to be a worm pull back here. Psyduck in the mud? That's definitely regular Psyduck, but in the mud. Very cool. Piplup. Now, we'll talk about this in a bit when we get to some screenshots from the Riddler, but apparently these flowers are very important back here. Weird Deer just straight up running, gallivanting. There's some Spheels, Beautiflies. Very cool. Dodging the uh, Rock Slide from Growlithe, which is Rock type, obviously, Rock and Fire. And looks like a Floatzel doing big damage. There's a Basket Legion doing the snipe shot over the Gastrodon, much like, yo, this is a new shot. Doing the snipe shot like the Octillery we've seen. But then here is the, the uh, Braviary flying above the Volcano. Tell me that doesn't look sick, dude. This game is gonna be nuts. Cleaver, the starter Pokemon, obviously. Some cool shots of the new people. And then zooming out onto the Nintendo Switch. This is gonna be massive, dude. Those shots over the volcano were so sick. I'm going back to it. Look at that. That is so epic. Wow. This game is gonna be dope, guys. I'm so excited for Legends Arceus. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow. So this account posted that there was the new commercial and here's actually like the commercial, I guess this is like the TV recording because they took some screenshots of it. Very interesting stuff. And they actually went on to say, this individual says, the red that you can see in the back is uh, a wormpole. The purple flowers begin. The flower seems to have bloomed at the time of the introduction of Hisui and Voltorb. And then it says the red, uh, there was a mysterious flower beyond one's mind. So I don't know what that means, but I think that's in reference to hear these purple flowers and then say that there was a mysterious flower that we may want to keep an eye out on. Here on Reddit, we have some higher quality screenshots of what we just watched, which is pretty dope. The weird deer running down. Dude, I'm getting so excited for this game. I can't even deny it. These look so good. The game definitely looks more polished as we're just a few weeks away from the launch. It's almost certainly ready by now, actually. This is cool, dude. I can't wait to explore that. And then, of course, some of the main characters having some discussions. Very dope stuff. Now, we've still got a few other things to talk about here. The next thing is that this post just went up a little bit ago. Um, this person, uh, Yasuke Oshida, is actually an animator for the Pokemon franchise. That's what their Twitter bio says. This is apparently fake. I'm going to make this clear. This is very fake. But they legitimately posted fan art of Growlithe's Evolution Arcanine but it's fake which is interesting so i'm gonna just call this out now that this has been told to be fake like they came out and said that it's it's not real they said like this is just fan art and then the riddler says this is the same style but it doesn't look like this so i just want to address that that this is actually not real but it, i find it very weird that an official pokemon animator would draw fan art of a pokemon that they may have already seen i don't know but this is interesting to note that it's the same style but it's not exactly like this and the last thing worth mentioning in this video is the riddler has come out and said happy new years can't wait to keep sharing more future plans about pokemon First, give your attention to 2022 April. Don't ask me why, stay tuned. And I believe that this is actually a hint towards Generation 9. And I know it's a little early to talk Gen 9 because Arceus is coming out in a few weeks and a lot of people don't have their mind on that. But I genuinely believe we are getting Generation 9 in 2022, this year. And you might be like, hey, Drive, that sounds way too soon. 
But if you look at the pattern, black and white to X and Y was three years. X and Y to Sun and Moon, three years. Sun and Moon to Sword and Shield, three years. And now in 2022, it'll be three years from the launch of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Believe it or not, it's really been almost three years and it will be in November. So the release of a new generation of Pokemon could be coming this year. I genuinely believe it. There's a lot of other reasons that point towards that. We know that Game Freak is split into two different teams, Team A and Team B, or Team 1 and Team 2. Team 1 has been working on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Team 2, we do not know. They were not working on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl because they outsourced Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl to ILCA, the team that made Pokemon Home. So the second team in Game Freak is inevitably working on something, but what is that something? I think it is Generation 9. So I genuinely believe that we are getting a Generation 9 for Pokemon this year coming up. I'm excited to find out about it, but that's my gut. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But that tied with the fact that the Riddler's talking about it, tied with the fact that they're going to have to eventually move competitive off of Sword and Shield. The official competitive uh, format is still on Sword and Shield and will be for Worlds this year. So they need something to put the game on. Uh, there's other reasons too. I mean, it, it really, the evidence kind of definitely stacks towards us getting Generation 9 this, this year as well. So just some crazy stuff overall. But I'm excited. I think this week we are getting a new trailer. So keep an eye out and be on the lookout for sure. A lot to digest in this one, but that new trailer in Japan was sick. And like I said, keep your eyes and ears open for a new trailer dropping this week for the Pokemon franchise. We are just a few weeks away from the game officially launching, and the game is most likely going to leak in about two weeks. So we're going to find out a lot of information over the next couple weeks, and it's going to be very fast. So get yourselves ready, because Pokemon Legends Arceus is about to be wild, and you already know the place to watch it is right here. So make sure you guys show some love. Hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic content let me know your thoughts on the new trailer in the comment section below and last but not least feel free to head over to teamshiny.com and pick up some of our awesome merchandise available right now over at teamshiny.com get those starter shirts that out your closet you look great headed into the new year and all that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching this news blast video that's it for me guys my name is dan i also go by a drive and i will see you guys on the next one peace